Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV, SHOT Show Industry Day at the Range. I'm here with Tim from SDS Imports. Now you guys have seen SDS because, you know, uh, you guys import a lot of Turkish shotguns. I've gotten my hands on a couple, obviously. And, and of course, Tim, thank you so much for, for even agreeing to, to talk to me. Absolutely. Tim actually he says he's going to kick my ass behind the shipping container nope. uh, because, you know, we've had Turkish shotguns and we haven't had a lot of luck with Turkish shotguns on TFB TV. So Tim was, we were just talking before the camera started rolling about kind of the, the state of Turkish shotgun imports into the country. What were you saying about that? Sure, so um, SDS imports during the pandemic, uh, it's when uh, the company really got rolling. And as with any company, uh, we would bring in container loads of anything we could pretty much get our hands on at that point. And uh, we worked closely with a lot of vendors and uh, you know some, some were great, some later proved that not to be so great. Uh, so there, there was a wide range of quality of uh, product that was coming in, not just for SDS, but across the board. And, uh, you know, we, we watched the, the, the reviews that you did and, uh, you know, uh, with panic in our eyes because sometimes it was like a vendor that we'd severed a relationship with like over a year ago or, or 18 months back. And we're like, yeah, no. But, uh, you know, when I came on board as CEO back in uh, June of 21, uh, the company was shifting its strategy from bringing in all that as, as fast as they could, um, and we were trying to build brands. And uh, we're doing that with a couple of uh, vendors that have like really risen to the top. Uh, they're delivering quality product, working with our engineers in Turkey, and uh, we're confident in the guns that we're bringing in now. And and we'd like to get those out there so people can take a look at them and, and decide for themselves that yes, this is this is a whole new ball game. Sure, and and I think you understand. You know, there's no hard feelings. No, you know, for me, and I'm I'm not I don't have any sort of like agenda. So if, if anything, I, I kind of feel better about it after talking to you about it. Where you're saying, oh yeah, some of the ones maybe I did review might have been like some pre-pandemic, uh, like maybe something that didn't quite meet the standard. They, they, they were definitely some older product that we had brought in, and uh, we no longer work with most of those vendors that are that are there. The ones that we still bring in product from uh, are ones that actually uh, took our feedback, incorporated our manufacturing processes, and, and the, the, results, the results are there. Uh, so and that's what you have today, right? That's right, that's right. So uh, right now we're bringing in guns. Uh, we're working with the Tokara brand, uh, the new military armory corporation, and of course we're still working with Tishash for uh, for handguns, and uh, we just launched the uh, here at the show the Spandau uh, shotgun line. Okay, and what's that? That's that's higher end over end uh, over under uh, sporting shotguns for uh, uh, scholastic clays uh, trap shooting, and uh, they're actually uh, Spandau is a sponsor of USA Shooting, so uh, the the uh, the people that support the Olympic training uh, and, and those facilities uh, we're we're actually a sponsor for that. What do you have here on the line that uh, that you want me to shoot? I think you said you had a couple of Tokarev shotguns. Uh, so actually, uh, Tokarev's over at the span now, uh, but right here we've got the new Military Armor Corporation guns. We have uh, what we think is the, the, the finest uh, uh, M2, we call it the Mac 2 and uh, we have our, our version of the 1014, which we have done the James Reed tests on them, because I said, Someday, I want, I want to see this thing go, get, get reviewed and not get thrown on the ground. <laughs> well, you know, of course I'm skeptical, but I'm always glad to give it a try. Yeah, no, happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll uh, give it some time on the range here. I won't quite shoot 500 rounds through it today, but, you know, we can at least get a start on it, right? No, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Oh, no, and thank you for agreeing to be on the program, not hitting me in the face. No. Guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. We're going to bring you more Industry Day at the range.